So today here on TechCoach, we're taking a peek at a wireless mic product. Now, so a little while ago, uh, about a year ago or so, I changed from a just a mic off my camera to the DJI wireless mic kit to increase audio quality. Actually, there was another microphone in between those two that I didn't like very much at all. So the DJI has been working great for me. However, we're taking a peek at a different product that literally comes in at half the price of what this DJI microphone does. And that is the Hohem Mic Zero One kit. Uh, essentially, it's a two microphone set, just like my DJI kit has the uh, receiver that comes with it, uh, pairs really well with the phone, and they do have a lightning version or a USB-C version. This is the USB-C version because I do have a iPhone 15 Pro Max. So without further ado, we're going to rip open this guy and we're going to compare it to my DJI. So this, while not really a comparison, we are going to, you're going to hear the audio quality difference at half the price. So come on in. Let's open this bad boy up, let's get it out, let's get it working. Okay, so I have the box here. Let's get this bad boy open real quick. Oh, geez, let's go the right way with my knife. So I actually got this at CES this year, and uh, so Hohem was uh, pretty awesome in allowing me to do this video. Um, but I'm really interested. I'm trying to be as honest as I can, and I want to compare it to what I currently have been using for the last year or so. Um, just some paperwork here on the microphone itself. Uh, I did get to see this case at the show, and what really interested me is, I mean, the size difference, right? The case size difference is, is noticeable right out of the gate of how much smaller this is compared to this box. Now, I have nothing against this box. It works great, um, but that was uh, the first thing I noticed uh, at the show. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a little box. USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Obviously, to charge this and the kit. And we do have our little uh, wind, uh, what I call dead kittens, to go on the microphones themselves as well. So, I'm going to get this box out of the way. All right, so inside here, it just lifts up. And then we have our receiver. And then we have two mic transmitters. Now, just like a lot of these mic transmitters out there, this has a microphone built into the transmitter itself. And it also has a 3.5 millimeter jack that you can plug in a lavalier mic or, or any microphone, to be honest, that plugs into a 3.5 millimeter slot. Um, so lavalier, headset, whatever you want. And then this is your little transmitter that stays on your body, just clips right on there. Um, oh, they do have the magnet mount as well. So like on my shirt right now, um, I put this on the inside of my shirt and magnetically attach it to any shirt. In le or if you have a button-up shirt, you can just clip this into the button-up area. Then you can see the microphones here on the front. <laughs> this little uh, windsock, or like I said, dead kitten, um, has a little hole on the front of it that goes over where the fur is for the microphone. So you just slide that into place. And now you have wind. Um, it'll sound a lot better, obviously, in windy environments. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to undo this. Looks like there's a USB-C port on the bottom. Uh, that's not actually how it charges in this case, um, but that would be how you could charge it without the case. Or if you wanted to put it in a spot and keep it probably plugged in, you could actually probably have it powered up. There are two little dots there. That's actually how it attaches inside the case, if you look down in there. So it drops down in. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to have the wind sock off to charge it. Um, but it drops down in like so. And then uh, the uh, receiver that actually plugs into your USB-C port on your phone has channel one, channel two, um, and then a plus and minus button, which we'll take a peek at. Then there is a remote 3.5 millimeter port so you can actually listen into the quality of the audio you're receiving with a remote set of headphones. And then a USB-C uh, port here so you can charge your phone or keep your whole device powered up while you're utilizing this. So that's that's pretty awesome. That's actually smart. The thing is, is how much smaller this is compared to my DJI kit, um, which does have the USB-C and the lightning port in addition to just being able to plug it in with a 3.5 to my camera. So that is one big benefit on this specific one. Um, but this is designed for mobile use. So keeping it as tight as possible is key, right? So this is definitely, uh, nice portability to it. I'll give it that. 
Light indicators on the front to let you know the charge test. We have three out of four lights, so we should be pretty well charged up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's see about getting this out. I'm gonna get my phone on a tripod quick. We're gonna give this thing a try. Oh, I did want to mention this as well. So these two, when I took them out, I, I undid that plastic off the bottom. That's how I could actually get it to charge. Oh, I did want to mention this as well. Micro SD slot right there. So the nice thing about this, in addition to being able to transmit from the from the transmitter to the receiver that's plugged into your phone, you don't have to do that. If you just want to record audio, you can power it up right here and start recording uh, and put up to, I think it's a 32 gig uh, micro SD card. I can double check that uh, here in the slot. And then you can record directly on the microphone without ever, without even having this plugged into anything. Just literally have this as a recording device. Um, so you can record whatever and worry about uh, adding the audio to, to your uh, video or whatever later. So that is a nice little thing. Or in addition, you could have this transmit audio recorded to the video and have a backup recording on the device itself in case something happens in the transmission. So maybe something breaks up or whatever. That is a nice little handy feature that most of them have, but is fantastic. So I'm gonna let this charge up a little bit to make sure it gets a little juice. And then uh, we'll get to try it out. Okay, so I have my phone here. I'm gonna go ahead and plug the receiver into the bottom of the phone and see if anything comes up. All right, so the lights on the bottom of the receiver are, are both lit up, so it's, it does have a connection. Okay, so it went solid. These also went solid, so solid green, solid blue. Green is channel one, blue is channel two. It says it right on the bottom of that between the two. And, uh, and obviously both are working. Now if I take, let's say channel two, which is blue, put it into the charge cradle and close it, does it stay connected? No, it actually is now blinking, so it's actually searching for channel two. So it does go to sleep when it's in the box, which you kind of want to have happen. All right, so in this case, I am gonna actually go into video mode on my phone and throw it on my tripod here. Hopefully that's getting me decently. It looks like it is if I look at my camera. Should be recording now. Now, I apologize if the audio gets weird. Okay, now I don't have a windsock on either of these, to be honest. My, my DJI also has windsocks available to them, but I'm in a studio environment. I don't really need them. And I'm not talking directly into the microphone. I'm talking away from it. So uh, it should be picking up my voice decently. And we're going to go back and forth between the two different microphones. And I'll indicate on the screen. Obviously, the, to be honest, I'm going to keep the video directly out of my camera. So you're not going to see this camera. I'm not going to show this video very much at all, uh, just because... That way you can see what's going on here. Uh, but uh, we're just playing the audio between the DJI microphone to see the quality of that versus the Hohem microphone um, and see the quality of that and if there's much of a difference at all. Again, $120 price versus $250 price. So there is a distinct difference in the cost between these two microphones. Um, now the DJI, this is the first version, the first iteration, they do have a version two out now. Um, so there is that, but they're both, that one's even more expensive. So for the price point, this makes uh, recording much more efficient and much less costly to get quality audio, specifically if you're gonna do kind of a, uh, interview or you want two people at least talking this allows you to get more than one person talking and uh, clean audio with it so and that was always my point of doing it just if nothing else I'm away from my camera I don't have to worry about you know the microphone itself this is picking up at, on my body at all times so no matter what I'm being able to be heard so that is the difference between the two microphones well, it's it's been over a week since I did the last video or the 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 rest of this video and that actually comes down to a hard drive failure that I had. Thankfully, I was able to scale the footage, but the end of the video didn't make it. So, um what do I think about the 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 mic one by Hohem? Solid, very solid. And actually, after I filmed the first part, I put everything on my computer and I wanted to listen to between the two before I filmed the final part and then when I filmed the final part, that's when my hard drive went crazy. Uh, and I spent the better part of a week and a half 
getting everything backed up as best I could and uh, on a new hard drive. So um, I apologize for that. But what it comes down to is comparing this to the DJI mic that I currently have in my studio. I would not second guess it. This is a solid microphone. Um, for what it is, it's, you know, it's built for the mobile architecture. And this is probably going to be the set that I take with me more than anything is because it's more compact. I love how compact it is. It'll go in my bag very, very easy. And I still have two microphones. So if I'm somewhere and I want to do get somebody else on mic, I have two. And I can use my phone to do the recording and I don't have to take my big camera with me. And to be honest, my last trip I took is probably the last trip I'm going to take with my large camera. Um, it's just easier with as easy as it is to use cell phones and the quality that they're at anymore. So Hoham, awesome job on the mic one. I truly recommend it. I really do. Um, if I was to repurchase today, if I didn't have a microphone system for my studio or for my setup, depending on how I was doing it, would I choose this system? Uh, I would heavily consider it if, if that's the best way. I, I, it's the best way forward, I can say. Um, so yeah, that is the Hoham Mic 01. I will put links in the description. If you have any things to say about it, throw those down in the description down below. Let everybody think. But they did a really good job with this, and I really love how compact and easy it is to take with you. Now, one thing, and this is actually with both the DJI mics as well as this one, is the wind socks. You can't put the wind socks in the case, so they are going to be separate. Not that that's a big deal, because they're not, you don't really have to protect those, you just kind of chuck them in, but pretty solid. So thanks, Hoham. Great job. And uh, I can't wait to use this out in the field. So thanks for watching to the end of this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe if you can for me. And as always, come on back for another video review right here on TechGooch. Hopefully we'll see you soon.